Welcome to Nobel Biz Webinars. You had mentioned earlier um, things in generational differences and things around maybe even just uh, changes over time. What are you seeing right now that maybe a company is going, I've adopted all this new technology, but I find out that 90% of my client base isn't adopting that technology anytime soon or hasn't embraced it in the same way. Are you seeing big differences or even changes without obviously painting a broad brush around generational yeah. differences or even demographic differences of how companies adopt technology with their customers? One of the biggest things that would help a company with implementing omni-channel and being successful with it, not just getting it to say they have it and checking that box and saying, oh yeah, we have omni-channel, but to be successful with it is what do the customers want? Instead of solving a problem they don't know they need, what are your customers asking for? Are they asking for, do you have chat? Do you have SMS? Do you have email support? Can I call you? Like, what are they asking for? And it's usually easy to, to figure it out. You survey them in however you're communicating and figure out how they would like to communicate with you. If you've already put something in place like that, then you might need to spend less effort on it and figure out the better channel. Leave it there just in case. Um, but, you know, again, go to where your customers want to be, not where you wish or think they should be. So that's part of it. Generational, demographic, socioeconomic, all of these things. I think one of the interesting things is years ago, right? And, and you and I know this, um, Years ago, there was clear generational differences with the use of technology, right? Like with somebody's phone that, you know, older generation isn't texting, older generation's not on there. They want phone calls. They have landlines. It's the younger generation that doesn't want to talk to anybody. They just want to text. They just want to do social media. And what I have found over the last few years is that's no longer true. People in all generations, all demographics now have access to smartphones, they're using smartphones, and they want solutions via smartphones. I mean, an example is my parents and I, we text back and forth to coordinate when we're going to talk because they know I'm super busy and they're retired and I know they're super busy and traveling. So we actually use SMS almost like a, a you know, a company would where we coordinate a time and then we chat, right? And we're not in the generations of people where you think, okay, they don't like to talk on the phone. It's not that, it's just we're busy. It fits life, like all this interruption mode, like we were talking about. And so I think it's really not so much about assuming that, okay, I have millennials as my generation, or I have this age group as my, my target, then I've got to do this one thing for them. It's about who are they and how do they want to be met for what you're doing? Because if it's something simple like cable TV or internet, they might not need to talk to anybody. But if it's something complex like insurance or buying a house, most people aren't going to want to do that on their own online and they want to speak to somebody who can help them. And no matter what generation. So I see it more about the product, the service, and the complexity of it than the, the, the thoughts about a generation or a group that might be customers.